again. Uh, today I'm going to do a top five uh, arcade one-up. Which one's my favorite? Which one's my least favorite? I actually have six machines, so I'm very close on that five. If you stick around, you'll hear why number six is number six. But I kind of ranked them on basically nostalgia, replayability, cost, how they look, all that stuff, how my friends like them when they come over. And I'm actually kind of surprised on which one when I started thinking about it and breaking it down, which one turned out to be number one. So hey, when uh, you get a chance after you see this, throw a comment down below and tell me which one's your favorite, which one you hate, of the ones you have. Let me know which one you might be getting in the future because hey, that Buck Hunter looks pretty good, Miss Pac-Man looks pretty good. What are you looking at getting in the future? Are you going to get ready of any of your machines? Space is getting to be an issue. So you're going to get ready of any of the machines you might not like. Your number five or six or three, depending on how many machines you have. Let me know down below. Hit a big thumbs up. Stay tuned, because here we go. All right, guys. Just want to start out with uh, NBA Jam here. It's going to be number five on my list. Uh, it's kind of odd that this is five on my list, considering how excited everyone was for this uh, machine, but for me, obviously, that was uh, one of the reasons it is number five. This machine was highly hyped, highly anticipated, and I mean, it really, it did really good. It delivered. I absolutely love this machine. Uh, of course, you get the lit marquee with it, which is a plus. Uh, of course, the riser, everything matches. The graphics look great. Uh, the nostalgia of it is awesome. I absolutely love playing this game. Uh, the big reasons it kind of didn't hit with me, the light-up deck protector, uh, I mean, it's, it's on, it's cool, you know, not really when you're playing or whatever, but you can blatantly see the LEDs, not super excited about that, but I mean, it's not really a big deal, you can turn it off if you don't like it, or, you know, if it's just on in display mode, no big deal, uh, it actually looks pretty good for that, I guess. Uh, the gameplay, uh, the playback isn't the best, it actually, uh, when you play it, and you can set it to easy and all that stuff. It doesn't seem like there's much of a difference. Now, of course, on medium and stuff, it's like the you play with the computer and it's a game the whole way through, where when you put it on super easy or easy, which is more what I'm looking for, considering I can't play these all the time and get super dominant at them, you can get up by 10 and like that, the computer will just basically mm -hmm. stop you and start coming back and kicking your butt and make it a game again and then beat you. So, of course, for me, the replay on that's not super exciting. Uh, I played this a lot on Super Nintendo versus the actual arcade game. So maybe the nostalgia from the arcade isn't quite the same as some of these other machines. But overall, I mean, I absolutely love the machines. So number five, even being in the number five spot, I know it's not the best. Um, but that's just how much I actually do really like these machines. That NBA Jam came in at number five. Um, of course, the price point, it was the most expensive machine I've got. It was the $500 machine. It came with the bar stool and everything, which the bar stool is awesome. Absolutely loved it. Should probably give us some points and bring it up some. But uh, now everybody else that comes over, you know, this is one of the first machines they gravitate to and play because everybody has that nostalgic feel for this one. And uh, I still love it. You know, everything sounds good, plays good. So you have that. But, I mean, just overall with the other machines, this one's actually at number five. So now let's go on to number four. It's kind of odd for me. Uh, Golden Tee is at number four. So I'm a big sports guy, and the two sports machines are going to be number four and number five. But uh, this game, I love it. The replayability on it. This is probably one of the best ones for having being able to just come back and play it more and more. Um, the nostalgia factor on it is not really there. I know this was popular in a lot of bars and different things but I never really played it in the bars or anything like that. So actually getting it here was kind of the first time I've played Golden Tee more than once or twice or watching it while out somewhere. Uh, so the nostalgia for this one isn't really big for me, but I still love the machine. Now that I play it, I absolutely love playing it. Like I said, it's one of my favorite ones to play here. Uh, of course, it came with the lit marquee, the rollerball, like mat matching a uh, riser to go with it. Uh, this one at the time was probably the highest price point one. I think it came in at $400 when it first came out. Now I bought this one secondhand at $150 and then had to replace this. That's probably another point where it's number four. I had to go through Arcade One Up customer service to replace this deck and that took about three months to get. Trackball didn't work originally, which I don't know if that's Arcade One Up's fault or the previous owner, which I'm going to blame that one on the owner. But got the deck, got it fixed up. Now it runs perfectly. People come over. This another one, especially for the people who knew Golden Tee, 
they absolutely love this one um and they love to play it too but it's not one of, it's not as far as my friends go it's not one of the most popular ones but it still looks good and i absolutely love it what do y'all think golden tea number four too low too high yeah we'll see so coming in number three on my list of my top five favorite machines here is actually going to be pac-man now of course with nostalgia this one is actually probably one of the most nostalgic i've got two other ones that are ranking higher that are a little more nostalgia for me this game i think was a little bit ahead of my time i was more i think with pick miss pac-man came around and stuff but i still love this game my wife absolutely loves this game this is her favorite so probably number one for her but uh for me that that's where it kind of sits with this one um it's the hsn version and it's got the lit marquee the graphics are beautiful the riser is awesome um of course now with these and like this one the game lineup just isn't there this one has basically one good game it stays on pac-man everybody plays pac-man so i basically paid 400 dollars for this machine just to have pac-man and then of course what else is disappointing is now they have miss pac-man and it has like galaga and stuff on it and i think some versions have dig dug on it so it's like well i could have waited and paid what four or five hundred dollars or paid a hundred dollars more and had the miss pac-man machine with all the bells and whistles but instead i have this one which i might sell it and get the miss pac-man and i'd be a little happier with it maybe the rankings might change with miss pac-man don't know but anyway we're talking about this one i mean it's a beautiful machine it's pac-man you can't go wrong with pac-man it is one of the more popular games when friends come over of course you know it hits them in the nostalgia feel it's a pretty easy game to grasp onto and play uh, the replayability is not super great on it to me i mean you can only do these mazes so many times before you're like all right i get it ghost got chewing up candy awesome so uh but the sound's great uh this is one came with the toggle so you can actually you know go back and forth on the volume and i do like that feature so hey you know that was a nice upgrade for these machines and i think this was getting close to gen 3 and uh hey it's a beautiful machine and i like it nostalgia is great but there's just two more that i like better so let's go on to number two so number two and it should be no surprise to anybody who knows me or watches any of my videos it's going to be the teenage mutant ninja turtles the arcade game the nostalgic feeling on it is just huge with me i absolutely love playing this game in the pizza type places and what we call it the fun time usa celebration stations what we had love playing this this is one i always begged for quarters to play and stuff uh, it's a beautiful machine from arcade one up it was their first four player machine it's actually just big enough to fit four players on here so that's pretty cool um let's see what else so the graphics are beautiful it came with a custom riser uh of course not much to say about that but this one actually the uh compared to pac-man this one has two games i love playing uh, turtles and tom uh played on my super nintendo and that was more of that than an arcade game as i'm sure some of y'all will know and remember that this version we played on the arcade turtles and tom was played more on prior genesis and super nintendo stuff um where do y'all remember it from that's that's where i remember the uh, turtles and tom from was more from the games not the arcade but i absolutely love this game this one came in at 300 dollars, so that might be another reason it gets number two because it is on the cheaper side than the others but of course you don't get the lit marquee this one's not wi-fi enabled or anything like that but it's just a machine and turtles i grew up with turtles were my thing growing up in the 90s absolutely loved them saw all the movies and stuff so this one just hits you right in the feels or hits me right in the feels absolutely love it uh the replayability on it's not great but if you just want to kill some time you know maybe you're watching a game or something and it's halftime you want to kill a few minutes hop over here pick your turtle go to it absolutely love it this is number two guys so let's get ready for number one all right guys we're here number one street fighter 2 championship edition now i can see how some of y'all are like how did that make it to number one that was a gen one model machine it doesn't have any of the bells and whistles it didn't come with the riser it didn't have the lit marquee or anything like that there's no wi-fi enabled for this machine but i absolutely love street fighter if you want to talk about nostalgia this one is right there with ninja turtles I uh, played this in the arcade and Super Nintendo, all three versions, played all of them, still play them now. The replayability on it is great. Um, I can actually, like Mortal Kombat, I can get through a couple characters before it starts getting tougher. Um, if I played it more, I'd probably get better at doing that. 
but like I said, the nostalgia feel, this one hits me right in the feels. Absolutely love it. Uh, this is definitely one I begged for quarters to play play in the uh, pizza places and all the game places like I talked about some of the other machines. I uh, absolutely loved it. It's my second machine I bought. This would have been the first one uh, had Mortal Kombat not come out kind of at that right sweet spot time. Uh, this one actually this is the cheapest, of course, because it doesn't come with the custom riser. I paid $250 for this one. Absolutely love the machine. Played a lot. I added the, uh, the tape for the team molding and stuff. Of course, all of them are backlit. But I absolutely love this machine. Uh, this one, the sound works all the time. I don't know why some of the other ones, the, the, in, when it's in display mode, the sound will go off. But this one doesn't. Works great. Absolutely love it. Gen 1, maybe it, maybe it's because it's one of the first machines that, another reason that I love it so much. But uh, yeah, man, this one, this course, this one doesn't have the scrolling um, volume bar either. But hey, who cares? It sounds great. They nailed this one. Absolutely love it. So uh, yeah, Street Fighters number one. What for y'all was your, uh, what's your favorite machine that you have? Which one do you dislike the most? Have you gotten rid of any of your machines because you didn't like them or they weren't what you expected? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a bonus of the number six machine and why I'm not a fan of it. All right guys, you stuck around long enough. Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry, it is my least favorite machine of all six that I have. Not because of the game or the gameplay or anything, but blatantly, it's just too dang hard for me. I don't have time to sit here and learn all the combinations and moves and stuff. It was kind of an impulse buy for me. It came out at Walmart. I was one of the first ones to have it. So from that point, I love it. The machine is beautiful. It works great. Arcade 1-Up did a bang-up job on it. Uh, but there's just no settings to kind of make this a little easier. And hey... I know it's kind of that everybody gets a trophy time, but I like to at least win a couple times. They'll give me encouragement, you know, to kind of learn to play the game more. But I can't even hardly get past the first character in this. And that, I just suck at it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, the sound, it's super loud. It'll cut out when it's in display mode. It works for about a minute, and then the sound cuts out. So that's another drag. Didn't come with a custom riser or a lit marquee or anything. Paid 300 for the machine. This was the one that could be on its way out to replace it with something new. Don't know yet because a lot of my friends do still like Mortal Kombat and grew up with Mortal Kombat. So we'll have to see. But hey, this is my number six least favorite machine. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Might end up getting rid of it. We'll see. But hey, am I wrong for hating on Mortal Kombat? Are y'all looking to move on it? What do y'all think about it? All right, guys. So that was my top five. My five favorite arcade one-ups that I own currently and the number six of why I do not like it. Hey, if y'all agree with me, throw a comment down below if you agree with the machines. If you don't agree with me, if I'm an idiot and don't know what I'm talking about, hey, let me know down below too. Shoot a big thumbs up if you like the video though. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.